Starbucks was closed. So glad they were closed because it made me walk. And I found Dunkin' Donuts. So much better coffee. Wiseman Company, everybody. I am Noah. It's great to see all of your smiling faces. Thanks for taking time out of your day and joining me. I really do appreciate it. It is Friday, and that means it's time for another Five Things Friday. And today, I'm going to be talking with you guys about what's on everybody's mind from last week, SHOT Show 2018. want to give sort of an honorable mention so maybe we'll make this a six things Friday but that was to uh, Franklin Arms I know that a lot of people out there were really sort of poo-pooing if you will on the modern musket uh, their non-rifled short barrel AR and my take on that was kudos to you guys you're trying something you're doing something different in the industry something pushing those boundaries if anything, you're bringing to light some of the ridiculousness of the rules that are still there from the ATF. And for that, I applaud you. Number five, the cauldron fire. Now this isn't necessarily in the firearms industry, but it is pretty cool. It definitely falls into the realm of preparedness or the outdoor world. Um, and it's essentially a battery operated thermal bottle. What it does is it allows you to be able to boil water up to six times on a single charge. You can keep water hot for an entire weekend. It weighs about two pounds, so it's a little heavy for backpacking, unless you consider if you're only going for a short one, you don't have to pack in fuel and a camp stove and things along those lines. As you all know, I'm a big fan of coffee, and they have an entire accessory line coming out that will include a percolator and a coffee grinder. So you can pack your beans in, make fresh coffee while you're out there camping. Uh, maybe your power goes out. Um, this is a great way to be able to uh, not kill someone because you haven't had your coffee. So definitely caught my eye. I'm gonna be picking one of these up. Um, you'll get a full review on one down the road. My number four item on the SHOT Show 2018 was the Focus Research Wound Cube. So being the moron that I am, when I first went in to look at this, I didn't even have a clue what the wound cube was. I actually thought from the quick brief uh, text message I'd got from a friend asking me to take a look at it, that it was something that you actually used to help treat wounds, that it was some new uh, um, medical advancement for packing wounds, things along those lines. And much to my chagrin, when I spoke with Mr. Friedlander, who's the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Focus Research, I found it's actually a training aid. It actually has a um, four different types of wounds that you can learn and practice packing uh, uh, with gauze. So it has a large gunshot wound um, that's like a rifle gunshot. It has two handgun wounds. One is a large caliber, one is a small caliber, and then it has a large laceration. And this semi-transparent cube 4x4x4 four by four by four, allows you to be able to actually visually see in there as you're packing the wound to make sure that you're doing it right, make sure that um, instructors can see how well you packed your wound. Plus the uh, wound channels themselves are different than a lot of the other wound channels that you see in homemade things that are out there because it actually simulates the tissue loss and damage. It's ragged edges and it definitely simulates the feel of an actual wound much more realistically. So I definitely recommend that you check them out. I'm also going to be picking one of these up and doing a full review on it as well. Number three on my list is the Velocity Triggers MPC series. Now that MPC stands for Marksman Precision Choice. And it is essentially a new version of a drop-in trigger for your AR. Now for those of you who have been following us for a while, you may know that we really like Velocity Triggers. Ben and I both run one in um, one of our ARs. They make great triggers. 
Uh, but this uh, um, is really a step forward, something new and different with the drop-in trigger market. It essentially moves your trigger forward slightly in the trigger guard, uh, and it allows a more natural finger placement. On top of that, the trigger shoes can be rotated and interchanged for looks, but the rotation allows you to be able to fit it to your finger exactly where you want it. I'm really excited. We also are going to be getting some of these. We'll be doing a full review for you, but I found it very interesting and I'm pretty excited about that. Number two on my list for SHOT Show 2018 has to be the Polymer 80 baby version. They have finally released the size of a Glock 26, 27, 33, uh, uh, the small subcompact framed Polymer 80. So it's an 80% handgun lower. I am super stoked about this. A Glock 27 was my very first carry gun. I've converted that over with a conversion barrel to a Glock 26. Um, I love that gun. It's been supplanted slightly by my Glock 43 as my everyday carry. But after I get my hands on one of these Polymer 80 frames, I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably going to be back into the regular rotation for me as an EDC gun. I love that upright uh, grip angle that's on the Polymer 80s. I love the texture that they have on their frames. And I love that you get to build it yourself. So that's definitely my number two item from SHOT Show 2018. The number one thing from SHOT Show 2018 for me was the people. Meeting the people and getting a chance to talk with uh, uh, people who own businesses that are well established, as well as people who are just starting businesses, having them take time out of their day to you know, meet with you, to take a photo with you, to talk about things with you. I got to meet some really cool people, some people that I've been following and even conversed with via um, Instagram, uh, um, Facebook, things like that. But to actually get to meet somebody face to face, shake their hand, have a conversation with them, I would say that that is the most valuable thing that we can get out of SHOT Show. Well, there you have it. Those are my top five or six things from SHOT Show 2018. I guarantee you that you probably wanted me to talk about something that I didn't. Uh, that's the story of my life. But I hope that you did enjoy my top five things. Uh, um, also, I look forward to hearing from you. Let me know what you thought about that stuff in the comments below. Let me know what you thought were the top five things if you were there. And if you completely disagree with me, that's fine. Let me know that too. If you like this video, take a moment, hit that like button. We really do appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. Share it with your friends. Make sure you join us on our other social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook. I think we're on Pinterest as well. Uh, um, go check those out. We really do appreciate it. Thanks so much for taking the time to uh, spend with me, and we'll see you on the next video.